U.S. President Donald Trump on Sunday again condemned civil rights protests in Portland, Oregon, decrying what he described as violence in, quote, Democrat-run cities. Portland saw clashes through the weekend between local demonstrators and federal agents who sometimes donned military fatigues without agency identification. The federal crackdown drew a backlash from state and city officials and even from a group of mothers, some pregnant, who came out in masks and protective headgear, locked arms, and shouted, Fed stay clear, the moms are here. Well, here we are, is it day five, I think now, that I've been out on the water every day. And it's been really nice right now. I'm tied up to my favorite buoy, buoy number two. It's a nice day. A little, a little windy, some waves, but we're okay with that. I can take some pretty big waves in this. Look, it's an angel in the sky. It's an angel wing. He likes sailboats. That's a cool one. That is a really nice boat. So the weather forecasters got it wrong today because it was supposed to be sunny and warm. But that's okay. I mean, it's calm and the winds are calm. The sea is calm. The Salish Sea is calm today and. Uh, I see a sun up there actually trying to peek through the clouds. And also a helicopter, too, but... Where is that sunshine? I think it's up there somewhere. You can see the Space Needle behind the crane, of course. Hey, it's not that bad. I've been out here on a lot of sunny days late lately. Um, after the wildfires stopped, you know, enough to where I could breathe the air. And now here I am out on the lake again, and it's really nice. I just wanted to share it with you all, and had a rough day or whatever. Life has been kind of a struggle lately. Just imagine yourself out in a dinghy. Yeah, I'm in the dinghy, I'm not in the larger boat. Just because, hey, what the heck? It's more fun in a way. It's kind of comfy. Anyway, even though you're in the middle of the city, uh, the pace of life slows down a little bit, and I swear that sun is going to come out before it goes down. And people will end up over at the White Swan having a few drinks at sunset as usual. This is Mark Taylor Canfield reporting from Seattle, where the weather forecasters got it wrong because at 11 o'clock this morning, AccuWeather said it was going to be 68 degrees and sunny by noon. Well, it's not, but we'll see. Still hope. This is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Oh, by the way, as I wrote uh, on my blog today, do not trust the weather forecast in Seattle. They're always wrong. It's about a 50-50 chance, right? So regardless of what uh, part of the season it is. So always dress in layers. That's what they tell you in the travel guides to Seattle because you never know when the weather's going to change. You know, it could change in the next five minutes and be incredibly warm and beautiful and sunny. And then again, it could be miserable after a half hour after that. So you never know. If you make plans and, uh, and it rains on your party, hey, just accept that's part of Seattle, you gotta go with it. So I know it's been a crazy year out there with the pandemic and you know, nobody traveling and you know, nobody's showing up at the sports arenas or the rock shows in the clubs and the stadiums. So man, everybody out there, creds to you for holding it together. I know it hasn't been easy. Hopefully a lot of us have 
join together a little bit more, maybe in solidarity, and have decided that, you know, we are a union and we need to stick together. Uh, we have to help each other. So I know it's been a rough year and everybody's been struggling with the pandemic and the economic depression and a president who says that he won't leave office, you know, if he doesn't like the results of the election. So democracy is at stake, uh, freedom of the press is at stake, and anybody who's been following me will see, you know, that I keep repeating that we're ranked 45th in the world in terms of press freedom by Reporters Without Borders, so we need to do better with that. I'm Executive Director for Democracy Watch News, and I spend a lot of my time covering politics and uh, issues of civil rights and freedom of speech, etc. But I just want to tell everybody, you know, hang in there, uh, stay strong, uh, we, we can create a better future, and we can do better than this. So don't lose heart, uh, stay together, love each other, and uh, help each other, and we can make a better world. And I'm going to continue to work on that. Uh, on the MTC Report and other places where I do my journalism and writing and music. So check it out. And if you support what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Hope you're having a great day. And um, stay strong. We'll talk to you next time. This is Mark Taylor Canfield from Seattle. Look, there's the sun. I found it. And as I predicted, the sun finally came out. Yay. Thank you, Solaris, for joining us today. As I'm editing this tonight, this will probably be my favorite scene. Right. I'm listening to my new single released on TikTok. Yes, musicians are using TikTok now, so it's another place to check out music called Sold Me Down the River. And it's kind of about how I feel about politics these days, so check it out at SoundCloud, but uh, mostly TikTok. Like, if you're not on TikTok, check it out. It's cool. This is Mark Taylor Campbell from Seattle, and the sun finally came up. Hooray! I call that dancing with Molly. So Molly, if you're out there, I hope you caught that. You're a great Irish dancer. Well, here we go. I was just gonna go visit the Seattle Seaplane Company and they're like coming out to meet me because look how close they are now. Yeah, it's a cool company. It's been there for a long time. And there it is, Seattle Seaplanes. Yeah, this has been here forever. People have been flying seaplanes out of here since the 1930s. And this is one place where you can also get flight instruction. But they have seaplanes, yeah, that head up to Victoria, Canada, Vancouver, British Columbia. In my experience, they're fun people. Sometimes you can just stop by and visit them on an off day and have a chat about aviation and seaplanes and things like that. This is Mark Taylor Canfield reporting from Seattle.